On this episode of China Uncensored, the Pope wants to give the CCP more authority over Chinese bishops. Underground Chinese Catholics had better say their prayers. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Pope Francis loves China. Perhaps an odd statement considering the Chinese Communist Party is officially atheist. And they have been blowing up Christian churches. But don't worry, those were Protestant churches. Who needs those when you have the Chinese Patriotic Catholic Association? That's the official Catholic Church in China. For decades, the Vatican and the Communist Party have had a schism, where the Vatican oversees all the Catholics outside China, and the Communist Party oversees all the Catholics inside China. In China, the Holy Trinity looks slightly different. The main issue of contention is who has the right to appoint Catholic bishops in China. China's position has always been that the Communist Party gets to appoint Catholic bishops for state-approved churches so they can preach the good word of Jesus Christ with Chinese characteristics. This has obviously been a point of contention. In some individual cases, the Vatican has given its stamp of approval to bishops the CCP appoints. But now, Pope Francis is trying to bridge the gap through broader cooperation with the CCP. Some Catholics, though, think this betrays Christ. A cardinal from Hong Kong explained that the official bishops in China are not really preaching the gospel. They are preaching obedience to communist authority. This week, the story broke that the Vatican was asking two bishops in China to retire or be demoted to make way for two Chinese Communist Party approved ones. It's especially odd considering one of those state approved bishops was excommunicated in 2011 after being consecrated without Vatican approval. He is also a member of the National People's Congress, the Chinese Parliament. And it's also odd considering how the CCP routinely persecutes underground Catholics who remain loyal to the Vatican instead of to the Patriotic Catholic Association. If Pope Francis is willing to give the Communist Party what it wants on the issue of appointing bishops, it may only be a matter of time before he tries to change the Vatican's stance on another big issue. The Vatican is one of the few countries in the world that still officially recognizes Taiwan to be the true China. What do you think of the Pope's decision? Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm your host, Chris Chappell. See you next time. Want to know more about Christianity in China? Visit our website, ChinaUncensored.tv, where we cover the Christian situation in China, plus many other stories that will have you saying, holy see.